You just gotta shave your head. <laughs> you right? You okay? Ah, oh, yeah, huh? Fuck me, that was lovely. That was well, where have you been? I took a little vacation, a little sabbatical. I found myself. I didn't really find myself, well I sort of found myself, but I took a little break. It was just getting a little too much. This year, this year has been mad. It's been one of them very taxing and tough years, but uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But it was getting towards the end and the Instagram fucking clout chasing negativity, virtue signaling, this constant need and desire to create an image of someone who you aren't, was just, just like, just stop it. Just stop it, all right? And you may listen to that back and think, oh, that's a little hypocritical. And I can sit here and hold my hands up and say, during this process, during this 10 years that I've been on this journey to achieve whatever the fuck it is that I'm trying to achieve, and I've been in up to 10 years now, back in 2011, 2012 was when I started and I opened up my socials. It was when I was working at GNC and also with Luke doing seven day weeks. And uh, I feel like I've almost come around full circle. I said this year's been tough, but in the toughness, in the darkness, I found lightness. I found light, no, is that a word, lightness? Hey Siri. Is lightness a word? The state of having a sufficient or considerable amount of natural light. I've set all your series off, haven't I? In, in this tough time, I've, I feel like I have kind of had this period of self-reflection and a chance to kind of really dissect myself and what decisions, be it right or wrong, I've made in, in the past kind of 10 years within this social media realm. And it's been, it's been fantastic, it really has. I feel like a little, I feel like I've almost got the old Tom back and someone mentioned that in my previous YouTube video. They were like, I'm getting, I'm getting like hints and notes of, uh, of the old TM Cycles videos. But uh, yeah, I just feel like I needed to take a break. So I timed it quite well because it was the end of the Ibiza Classic Transformation, which was magnificent. It was phenomenal. The guys absolutely outworked themselves. Their dedication to the process was, was unbelievable. The two guys, I'll put them on the screen, Max and Richie Rich, did a fa fantastic job. They uh, won the Pasha and DC10 package and it's something that will be, will be reopening very, very soon. I'm just working on the new Flow site, whereby we'll be switching over to kind of an academy-based subscription service, whereby it's uh, more educational, informative content. There'll be training videos. I'm, I'm jumping back in with Gigi next week and we're following my journey in sort of power building now. I've got myself a new coach, but we'll talk about these things either this week or next week. But I timed it right, so I was clientless. I thought, let me go away, I went back to Marbella. I'd, Seven of the nicest days, I really did. It was the first time in 10 years I didn't take any of this shit, no camera equipment, nothing. I just took myself, my book, I danced, I sang, I ate, fucking had a great time. It was lovely. And uh, I got back and I thought, you know, reality hit. You kind of can't really continue that life. A bit like when I got back from my beef and I fucking spiraled a little bit. So I thought I won't go back on Instagram yet. I'll just go back in to that when I feel it's uh, it's needed. So I took a few more days and I just logged back on today. And uh, I can't recommend it, in, I really can't. I, even if you're not a kind of character or individual in the social media sphere, just take a break, mate. The, the, these, these, just not even from social media, just from your phone. It was well needed. So me being me, I like to track things. So I thought doing this little experiment, if you want to call it experiment, I took a, a screenshot of my screen time, so on iPhone it's on settings, screen time. Within that you can actually set limits for the amount of time that you're allowed on, on, on certain social media accounts. It was nine hours and 45 minutes. Nine hours and 45 minutes on average per day, which is, I mean, it's, it's almost a problem, isn't it? It, it, it? I think that would be considered an issue. So the week I went away, just read, did what I did, got into a lovely little routine out there, Coffee, steps, cardio, home, lovely little breakfast, back to the gym, it was, it was perfect. Two hours 41. So from nine hours 45 to two hours 41. And I also made a note, because I track everything on my Apple Watch, my resting heart rate, 67 beats per minute on that, that nine hours 45 week, down to 55 beats per minute on average 
that week when I wasn't on social media. I deleted my YouTube app as well. So if I wanted to watch a video, I just watched it on the laptop when I was having any food. Sleep quality, I used the Sleep Cycle app, went from 82% to 97%. So there was no like endless scrolling before bed or when I woke up, it was go to bed, wake up. And there's definitely, there's definitely areas from that little experiment that I did that I want to carry over to now I'm back on. So one thing I've done, and look, don't take offense to this, to the very few people that I did follow, but I've unfollowed everyone. So I don't follow every, anyone anymore. And uh, it's something I've always wanted to do because it's something, it's, it's, uh, I always wanted to go on my Instagram and see that. Just blank. Just use Instagram for what it is, which is a, an app, it's a business, it's a, it's a chance for me to create and, and, and uh, you know, not to be too consumed. By unfollowing everyone, it stops me from comparing, it allows me to create and not consume, and uh, yeah, we're back. I feel, I feel good. I feel nice. So yeah, that's just a, a little video. I didn't want to. I, I didn't want. I don't want this to be some sort of like clickbait, wanky. I quit social media and grew a second cuck. I just wanted to give an insight into the reasons to why I pulled back a little bit. And uh, you know, I, I, I highly recommend people do it. And it's something that I'll probably do again. Something that I'll probably do again. It's very easy. Very easy too. If you are doing it, deactivate and delete because Instagram will log you back in. Like I said. So if I, it looked like I was ignoring you, I do apologise, I sort of was ignoring you. But uh, yeah, if I go away again, deactivate, have a little time, turn on, tune in and drop out. It was great. I think that's all, I think that's all. I just wanted to kind of, do you know what I mean? Just ugh, get it off my chest. I feel like a, a cloud has gone. I feel like I can breathe again. It feels nice, it feels really good. It was mad. I felt a little bit bogged down. Like the best way I could describe it being on social media this year and it getting a little bit too much is that these, these spikes of endorphin releases that I had kind of put me from being down here, here. I never, I never broke through. So it's a bit like when I come off social media, my sort of happiness levels rose to the point where I had these endorphin releases. I went from up here down to here instead of being just constantly like that. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, there'll be a lot more content coming soon. There'll be a lot more information out on the new Flow website and the Switch Up in Members site. And we'll introduce my new coach and we'll just do all the, do all the YouTube, the usual YouTube things. But uh, yeah, I'm back. I didn't want to do some sort of like fucking dramatic. Oh, he's back. Just a nice little, nice little break. Nice little break. Good book this, very good book. Hey, if you said name three or four books that changed your life, I'd say this one, Atomic Habits, Sapiens, Sapiens is great, and Normal People, can you class that as a, I just love Normal People. Normal People just fills me with light, do you know what I mean? Great series as well, as you can tell, uh, influenced by Connell. Train. Anyway, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Gamma. Much love. Like Vincent Van Gogh, he dedicated his life to his uh, art and lost his mind in the process.